to move all these coats <laughs> out of my way a little bit. Welcome to Art Club. It's stick week. Hardcore stick week. Very important detail. So your stick has to be how it found how you found it on the ground. And I said how it found you. <laughs> That's Helen. Let me let Helen in. Hello, Helen. How are you all doing? Is it is it nice where you are? Ryan says hello. Hello, Helen. Hello, Katie Chapel. How are you How doing? Are you doing? David? I'm good. I've just been out in the garden on a stick hunt. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I went got down to the beach yesterday and I got some sticks. Um, they're really smooth. They've been worn smooth by the sea and they might be a bit too absorbent because they feel like um, they feel like they're moulded out of paper or something. Ooh. It'll be interesting to see what they do. It might, like, you know when something absorbent, you stick it in ink and it, like, sucks it all up and it goes up the stick. I think that's what they'll do. So I've got some old sticks at hand that I've used before. Oh, that good. Peggy, Peggy found for me on the beach ages ago. I've got some, so they're more like twigs than sticks. But a, a wide variety of different, hey. different wobbliness. And... Brilliant. Yeah. Did you see the photo of Johnny Hannah before we started? I did. It was amazing. <laughs> It's so brilliant. It's so brilliant. Everybody, you need to go and you need to go and have a look at it. It's so good. He's already for our club. He's got a mask on. He's got the biggest stick I have ever seen. I think he's been cutting down a tree or something. <laughs> he says brilliant. he's got his beans on toast and his penguin first though, so he might be still having his dinner. Yeah, he might be. I've just had my Edna's flips. I poured my pulled my crisps out ready for art club. Sat here for about five minutes and ate the lot. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. I, I've got a cup of tea and I'm saving myself for dinner afterwards. Uh, I've got a cup of tea as well. Um, so Hardcore Stick Week is, well, one week, the first time ever we did Stick Week, we did sticks that we'd sharpened the ends of, didn't we? And then during that week, my partner, Jerry, said, what kind of rubbish sticks are those? You've tampered with them. You don't whittle your sticks. You take the sticks as the universe gives them to you. And so ever since then, hardcore sticks. It's the only way yeah. to go, isn't it? You've got to go knobbly or go home. So this, if you look at our sticks, this one, it's been snapped off. So it's kind of, it's got a knobble on the other side. But yeah, just however they were on finding. Yeah. I've got, these are some old ones that I've used at Art Club before. Knobbly stick. Uh, that one, that one, that end is too thick to fit in my ink pot, so I've never used that end of it. Yeah, they're good. Here's the one from the first week where <laughs> I tampered with it. Look. But don't use that one anymore because I tampered with that one. That's... You're not allowed. <laughs> my tampered with sticks are at the studio in solitary <laughs> confinement in case I accident. <laughs> we should burn them. That'd be good. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should have a sacrificial. Yeah, money. let's have a fire. Uh, Witchcrafty says we can never go back to adulterated sticks. It's true. No. I've realised I look yes. all faded out. I think it's the window behind me. I've got like, it looks like I've got a filter. One of those like 1940s film star filters. You look, you look ethereal, Helen. Yeah. <laughs> Fading in and out. <laughs> I need to sort out these coats. This is what this is making me realise. You know when you just have every single coat you've ever worn all on the back of the back? Yeah, I was just always like that. Yeah. Hello, Hello. Sarah. There's Sarah. Hey. hey. What kind of um, ink or paint are you using? Because people kept asking this week what they should dip their stick into to draw with. I've got a pot of ink that I've stuck to a bit of cardboard so I don't knock it over. And That's I've got, I've got this... Really lovely bright pink ink as well. I might use that as well. Oh, is it watercolour? No, it's ink. Yeah, what have you got? I've got, I've just got ink, but I've got some proper ink and then I watered some down because I thought it might be nice to have two shades of ink. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And also oh. it's running out. I've hardly got any left. I need to buy some more. Mm. <laughs> uh, everybody's arriving. Hey. Right. Oh, I've forgotten my timer. Oh, oh I forgot all about it. Have you got your there. phone at hand, or are you? Are we looking at your phone? There. That's me. <laughs> right. You got my phone. I could grab. I've got an iPad. Should I grab that? Yeah, get that. Yeah. <laughs> Just here. 
It always feels funny using an iPad as a timer because it's such a big thing. <laughs> I forgot all about the timing part. A mere detail. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sketch me a flower, Lou Shackleton. Oh, where's the timer? Oh, hang on. I need to stick all of my glasses of water to pieces of cardboard. Yeah, good tip. That is a very. I good used thing. to. I'd get to the end, finish a whole illustration, and I'd be like, "Yeah, perfect." And then I'd knock my ink over it. I don't know how many times I've done that. Oh no! Bad. The... Oh. <laughs> bad. That's one of the, the benefits of being on an in, on the internet on the iPad because <laughs> you can't yeah, you can't spill your ink on it. Yeah. <laughs> Have a timer. That's good. <laughs> oh, I've got my, um, hang on, can I see, I've got my good shit badge on. Yeah, so good. Oh, I need to on my dress from yesterday and I mustn't put it in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let me. <laughs> okay, should we set the timer and start? Yes, how long would you like for the first one? Uh, a minute. A minute. I'm not qualified to do this, you know. <laughs> I've, I've had got a feeling you might be more reliable than I am. I don't know, man. We'll give it a try. One minute. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, that's horrible creaking noise. Go. Okay. Oh, I forgot to ask my. Might need my glasses on. Oh yeah. Yes. I do need my glasses on. Right. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. I have to be quick. Yep. Yeah, one minute. I have this habit of forgetting on the first drawing that we're supposed to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get unrelaxed. I do. The lion is so nice. Ah, I bet we've hardly got any time left. We've got 18 seconds. Oh, that's not bad. Ages. Yeah. Hours and hours. Four seconds. I wonder if we can make a noise or not. Oh, that's it done. Time's up. It was very quiet. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> How did it go? It was fun. I'm using the water down ink and I'm drawing a coffee grinder. But it's nice and wobbly. Hey, hey. Oh, that's nice. I like the water ink. Um, oh. My stick had like um, a flat end. The end of it is nice. kind of... Oh, keep missing the camera there. It's because like it's a flat. flat. It drew more than one line at a time. So it's really nice for the leaves on that plant. That's oh. cool. Running. Oh no! No dribbling! <laughs> I brought two sketchbooks because I thought I could let them dry. In between. I've got an old exercise book. Ooh! Nice. You know, the, these were my favourite ones at school when it had lines on one side and then blank on the other so that you can write, write a story and then draw the pictures. Oh, they were my favourite as well. And sometimes you would have blank at the top and lines at the bottom. They were really good as well, yes. Yeah, weren't they? They were brilliant. That's, I'm going to put some paper out of this. Oh, Butterfly House creates this drawing in the garden tonight. Oh, we oh, could no. start doing that soon. It's been mm -hmm. so lovely, the weather here, hasn't it? We could be in the garden. <gasps> Is your house really hot at night time at the moment? I don't know, because I'm sleeping in Pi's aesthetic vegan apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, of course. How silly of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Pi, in case you don't know about it, my daughter Pi, Jerry has done up a little wash house in the garden. And for a few months, we've had bunk beds in there so that we can have pretend holidays. Anyway, as soon as it was done, Pi called it her vegan aesthetic apartment. But you don't have to be a vegan to, to sleep in it. You can even eat a bacon sandwich. It's all about the vegan aesthetic rather than being a vegan. It's brilliant. <laughs> we've been... The pie's having her bedroom plastered at the moment, so me and her have just moved out there. So nice. I wake up to hearing the seagulls walking across the roof. Uh, oh, it's lovely. So nice. Take a proper adventure. Who needs holidays when you've got a vegan apartment? Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> well, Jill. You could 
Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> it has has the original Victorian toilet outside there as well, beside it. So you've got all the facilities. You've got That's one of those proper old toilets with a big flush, like the cistern high up on the wall with a big chain flush. It's really noisy as well. You can probably hear it right down the street. <laughs> flush. <laughs> oh, Helen's been the toilet again. <laughs> <laughs> how long should we do for this one uh shall we do uh three minutes three sounds good yeah all right then. the timer huh i feel very powerful having the timer <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay it's good a big thing, thing. right it's okay big... are we ready we're ready go okay this stick is so nice the one that draws a few lines it's lovely I'm faffing I'm starting to feel like I've drawn everything in the house. Yeah, I know what you mean. Now when I go out, I keep an eye out in charity shops and things for new objects that I fancy drawing. I think I'm gonna have to start doing that. Because it's everything, I've raided every single room, every single shelf. Yeah. I just never thought I would run out of knickknacks. We have so much clutter in our house, but I feel the same. Yeah, I mean, same at Cameron's bringing stuff home all the time. I'm like, there's nothing for me to draw. What is this? <laughs> Johnny Hannah says, do we just draw out? Yes, out you like. It's got to be we a thing. Got, we have got rules though, Johnny. You can't yeah. make it up. It's got to be in front of you. Yes, yeah, only real things. Claire Davis Etheridge is deciding which end of the stick to use. Well, that's always a big decision. Yeah, you can get different marks from different ends of the stick. That's good. Oh, this stick's amazing. This one with a flat end. You can oh, it round. You can get it to just draw a nice thin line, or you can get it to do like a flat line, really wide. You can get it to do loads of lines at the same time. It's amazing. Oh, that's the timer. No, already. Already. What? That was ah. rude. Bit fast that one. <laughs> this is my cup. Very tame, but fun. Hey, oh, look at the mat. That's nice. The mat's the best. That's mine. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Are these secretly giant? Put your face beside the table. Yeah, that's the thing. I never realised how big I your door was at that yeah, auction. <laughs> this is like, it's not A2. It's a bit smaller than A2. It's bigger than A2. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I was always scared to do big art. I remember at, at uni and school, and the teacher's been like, try a big piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I've always really liked a big piece of paper. I think I've been the other way around. 
I mean, I, I have to get used to doing smallish for a book, but yeah, I really like a big piece of paper. I don't like, if I can see something in front of me, I don't like reducing it in size to fit the paper. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Is that why you didn't like big things, small, small things, big week? I re Do you know, I thought I would hate small things big, but I ended up really enjoying small things big and was so glad Jerry Forster's bullied us into it. That was brilliant. But I didn't like drawing big things small. It just felt like... I feel like that's what you do anyway, isn't it? <laughs> it's yeah. like, yeah, it's what we do all the time. Yeah, it wasn't very exciting that way around. I tipped my ink over, but it's empty, so that's... <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Witchcraft is using a breadstick. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Louise Cartwright, I was late home and couldn't find the stick, so my daughter broke a breadstick in two. It's actually quite cool. Well, I'd get hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little nibble on the end. It's a brilliant idea. I love it. Moira says, is the breadstick going? <laughs> yeah, is it? <laughs> will it go mushy by the end? <laughs> of like bits of breadstick. In. Probably will, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back to my big stick. Should we do another one? Let's. Should we do a five minute tour? Five minutes. Five minutes? Yes. Yes. The timer's going. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. Uh-oh, Witchcrafty says, I think I've accidentally used an artificially sharpened stick. Oh, Uh-oh, yeah. do I need to destroy my drawing? Yes, you do. Burn them. Now. <laughs> Come on. You cannot let it on. It'll work either, because it'll contaminate their eyeballs. <laughs> How did this happen? Oh. <laughs> Do you ever have that notice that your measuring is so off that it's, everything's completely wrong? <laughs> like, Whoops. Very often. Sometimes that can turn out to be a good thing. Yeah. Sometimes not. Like what wonky goodness. Yeah. Oh, this plant. It's 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 like this this plant and this stick were made for each other. This stick was made for drawing this plant because the plant is stripy and the stick makes more than one line. Ah, uh, match made in heaven. Yeah. Lots of bits of stick dust going everywhere. Oh, this is great. I'm really enjoying this. That's a good one. I'm in the zone. I always am with Stick Week. I love Stick Week. It might be my favourite. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Whichever week we're doing it, it is my favourite at the time. But... <laughs> I was thinking the same. I was like, <laughs> sure every week I say, this is my favourite week. <laughs> I really like all the continuous lines are really good. I really like Under a Box is really um, good. Yeah, that's a classic. Stick Week is good. I don't think there's a week I don't like. Yeah, me too. Maybe Feet Week because I had to get my feet out. That was but, a really good week though, wasn't it? 
the drawing it's such a shame because it didn't record it didn't record we need to do that again some point oh yeah we'll do that again the drawings were worth getting my feet out for <laughs> masterpieces A squeaky table. Oh, this stick is amazing. I really, really like this stick. Are you getting stick favoritism? Yes. Definitely. I don't know what I'll do if this stick ever breaks. It'd be terrible. <laughs> don't say that. It'll be like the time you snapped Jerry's favourite stick. <laughs> oh, yes. Forgot <laughs> about that. Oh, yeah. He took that on every drawing trip for years and I used it once at Art Club and broke it. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. The relationship test. <laughs> he shouldn't do have you... lent me it. He knows I'm unreliable. It was his fault. <laughs> We've got no Tanya in the comments tonight, have we? No, I think she must be on holiday mode. That's the timer going off as well. She is. She's on a horse. Timer! Timer! And I can never figure out how to turn up the alarm noise. <laughs> uh, let's see how it's gone. Stick week is my favourite, even though I keep running off and missing the time limit. The time limit is not mm -hmm. <laughs> You better stop. The art police will be knocking on your door any minute now, Claire Davis Etheridge. They've been dispatched. <laughs> I drew a tiny. Hey. Oh, that's good. What's in the pot? Uh, salt. Oh, that's lovely. The first oh, the big mine. Ooh, let me move the comments. We'll the go on a journey across it. There we are. Oh, isn't it a wandering dude? Try to scan here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I love them. I know, they're lovely. I've got a few green ones and this one's red. So lovely. A red one. Oh, very handsome. Yeah. I, I nearly killed mine, but then I saved it again. The froth. How did you do that? They're pretty hardy, aren't they? I thought, and then beside the bathroom window, and it was really frosty, and it killed all oh. one side. Then I had to, like, uh... <laughs> drama. Uh oh. Fee Austin dipped her stick in the wine. Oh no. <laughs> With the hazard. <laughs> it's good that you've got wine though. Well done. It's good art club, art club beverage. Jeff Prod said, "Is a tiny stick okay? If not, too late. Oh dear. I think I a, would... a tiny <laughs> stick is actually a really good idea. I don't have any little tiny sticks. Maybe we Maybe. should do tiny stick week. <laughs> yeah, and big stick week. <laughs> tiny ones like that. We could only just hold it. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> Thank you." I had me to snap a little bit off my stick. Maybe I could. I've got a little end of a twig here. Is that tiny enough? <laughs> think? Tiny stick. Oh yeah, that's good. I don't know I'm if I'm not strong you. enough. <laughs> I'm not strong enough to break my stick. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't break it. <laughs> it does look like a bit. Oh, there we are. There we are. Oh, well done. It. It's not that tiny. But it's the smallest, it's the skinniest of all the sticks that I've got. So I'm going to have a go with this one now. Oh, matchstick week. Oh, my goodness. I have got some tiny sticks because I've got a little box of matches. Oh. I'm going to try and draw with a match. That would be cool. Yeah, I'm going to give that a go next. Tiny. So I, I, we, I think I will have to draw the things tiny. Otherwise, a journey with a matchstick. You'll be dipping the ink plant. That. <laughs> Tiny, tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Witchy craft is good. Form emojis. JF Pod says yes, matchstick week. I agree. I think that yeah. could be a week. Oh, I think that would be brilliant. Uh, actually, you could construct your own tools out of matchsticks. So you could glue some together. You could just have a single one. 
Could you light one with it before it burns your fingers? Light it and then draw with it. <laughs> there'd, be, there'd be no time I needed. <laughs> you'd be... <laughs> yeah, we'll not do that. <laughs> right. Who do you have to says, I arrived late. What are you using? Ink. So it's stick week. So it doesn't, you can use paint or ink, but as long as you're using a stick, this is a very small stick. Yeah, just dip, dip your stick in some paint or ink or dye or whatever you've got around. That's it. That's all you need. Ah, uh, Doodle Lou's got um, driftwood from the beach. Yeah, I find that I'm finding the driftwood stuff quite hard because it's so absorbent. It's like drawing with a sponge. <laughs> is it? Is it working? Not really. It just makes like um. Look. Like it's a bit more like a crayon than, oh, that's than cool, inky because it just soaks it all up. Yeah, you get like a yeah. grey crayon kind of mark with it. Cheers, Mama says, I picked up a feather. Is that allowed? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I really love drawing with feathers. I've got loads and loads of feathers that I've we collected could... over the years Maybe... to draw with. Yeah, <laughs> we'll let you use, I think we'll let you use a feather. Why not? They're so lovely, aren't they? You're obviously in a lenient mood this evening. Maybe we'll have to have a feather night one night as well. Oh, that'd be good. Feathers and sticks. It's pretty much like drawing with a dip pen, isn't it? Drawing with a feather. Because a dip pen is just a, a more modern version of the old quills, isn't it? Yeah, that's what, that's what makes me... To our yeah. Is it cheating? It's maybe cheating. Yeah. It's sharpened by the birds. Yeah, you're right. It's cheating. Yeah, you're not allowed. No. Who asked? I can't remember who asked, but you're not allowed. Shares a mama. It's been out. <laughs> <laughs> How long should we do for this one? Uh, oh, I don't know. Another five minutes? Yeah, that's a good amount of time, isn't it? Yeah, all right. I don't want longer than that with a matchstick. I think I might go crazy. <laughs> with your little claw <laughs> hand. I think I'll have to pour some ink out into something because I don't know if my match will reach the bottom of the pot. I was yeah. thinking that have a long enough for a short, a shallow enough bowl to make the short stick. I'm going to pour some ink into a palette. That would probably work. Yeah, there we are. Right. Oh, my um, camera's falling over. Oh no. There we are. Ooh, it's all a bit wobbly. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay, oh, we've got another. Can I draw with my ice lolly stick? <laughs> don't know, don't know. Everybody's pushing the boundaries this week, aren't they? Yeah, I think as long as you don't let Jerry find out. I think it's because Tanya's not here. Everybody's asking all these difficult questions because Tanya's not here to kick them out. <laughs> If Tanya was, it'd all be getting told off right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till Tanya's back next week. You'll be in trouble. Yeah, we'll make her right. extra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Audio box. Get set. Go. Okay. Let me just turn up this bit off. I don't know how I feel about tiny stick. I quite like tiny stick so far. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like I don't know. it. I think I'm gonna put some water into my ink. It's all running out. <laughs> Some good balance. <laughs> I've realised that instead of drawing smaller, I've drawn life size again. So yeah, I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to get done in five minutes. <laughs> well, you've got four minutes left. Uh oh. Lisa Greeno was drawing with a chip fork this week. Oh, that sounds brilliant. With a what? A uh, chip fork. What's a chip fork? You know, like those little chip have... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that you get from the chip shop. Yeah. Oh, 
I could not work out what that was and thought maybe she has actual special <laughs> forks in the drawer just for eating chips with. A steak knife and a chip fork. <laughs> making some really good squeaky noises. Yeah, matchstick is really quite pleasing. So we'll have to get together one day next week and get all these badges ready to send out to people. We will. Oh, they're good. It's so exciting. Yeah, yeah. they're brilliant. I think Alice has been getting everybody's addresses. Yeah, that's good. Tanya hasn't even seen them. Tanya designed them, ordered them, and and she hasn't even seen them yet. She's gonna love them. Yeah, to send her photos. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what Johnny Hannah's drawing with his fence post in his garden. What is he drawing? I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see what he draws. No pressure. <laughs> fence yeah. post. That's a really that's nice low pressure way to get drawing again, except for Johnny Hannah, and it's really high pressure for you because we're dying to see what you do. <laughs> Other people, it doesn't matter. If you don't share Johnny Hannah. You have to share, or else. <laughs> Oh, if you if you've just started the course, you get um, you can see inside the mind of Johnny Hannah. Yes, the brilliant video in the course yeah. by Johnny, it's excellent. I love it. Every time there's a new round, I forget what happened in the course. I get to have a little look at it again and be like, oh yeah, yeah, me too. I don't keep track of which week is which. I have to keep no. dipping in and having a look, seeing where everybody is. Yeah, what have you been doing this week? Yeah. Well, we've got one minute left. One minute. Oh, I don't feel like I've done enough. I need to wander over to the left-hand side of the paper and do something over there. Come on, matchstick. I need sticks are noisy is what I've learned. What's noisy? Uh, tiny sticks. Yeah. Well. John says it involves some fine chiaroscuro. Oh, that must be wine. Uh, that must be wine. You reckon? Is this? Do you think? Showing <laughs> how uncultured I am. Yeah, exactly. Me too. Something very highbrow. Yeah. It must be. Otherwise, we'd know what it was. This is a special kind of stick. <laughs> maybe he's dip dipping the stick in wine. Ooh, maybe. Oh, the timer. No way. Yes yeah, way. Um, ah. Fastest five minutes ah, of the night. I was enjoying that. <laughs> Aussie seals, right. very minimalistic. Thing. Look at that. Oh, the doll. Fast. Oh, <laughs> Johnny says it's book fast. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> I like this as well. Is that me? There's the, Anna. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> and there's my cup with the handle that fell off, and so I fixed it with a bit of clay. <laughs> Can't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Monkey lines. I. I didn't get very much done, but it's the, the top of a coffee grind. Ah, oh. oh, it's lovely. The line's really lovely. Squeaky it looks tiny. like it's wobbling about. It looks like it's animated. Yeah. <laughs> Such a small, <laughs> tiny stick. <laughs> oh, there's a big spider. <laughs> yeah, there's a big spider lives underneath the skirting board right beside my desk. And sometimes I'll be sat here and I just catch a glimpse of something out of the corner of my eye. Oh, look. Can you see him? Oh, he's going around. Yeah. Uh, my spider's about, it's about that big. Whoa. It's huge. Every now and again, his legs come out from under the skirting board. But if I just tap the ground, 
with my foot, he runs back in again. Something <laughs> in here, if, if I leave clothes on the floor in the morning, yeah. I pick them up. Um, far too often there's a giant spider just sleeping in my clothes and I've got to pick. <laughs> There are loads of spiders about at the moment, aren't there? Yeah. I always think that autumn is the time for spiders in the house, but actually our house is full of them at the moment. I think it's all year round. <laughs> <laughs> Constant. Oh, Claire Davis Etheridge, where do you live in the world? That sounds so nice. It's drawing an apricot tree. Wow. Oh, She's grabbing them as they fall off. What? What kind <laughs> of paradise is that? <laughs> A doodly where would you, Claire? Please advise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, maybe Claire is in Australia, actually. Maybe. Do you know, I don't think she is. Because Claire sent us some sticks, didn't she? She's somewhere in the States. St. Louis. When. Hmm. Once a slug climbed in my daughter's water bottle. Oh, that's like the time when I lived in Glasgow. We had a flat that was completely infested with um, wood lice. Oh, yeah. Oh. And I can remember leaving a cup of tea beside the bed and it went cold. And when I woke up in the... I'd, had, I'd been out the night before. When I woke up in the middle of the night, I was, like, massively thirsty. Just picked up the cold tea and drank... And <laughs> spat out a wood lice. It was disgusting. <laughs> that's the same, same as your clothes. If I left anything warm on the floor, like my shoes or my clothes or anything, when I picked them up, there were loads of wood lice in them. <laughs> Tip them out of my shoes before I put them on. <laughs> oh, she's all itchy. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> oh, Claire's in the hot Midwest of America. Ah, that's all. That makes mm. sense. In fact, maybe I think one. Of, oh, she sent us some sticks. Did you send us some sticks, Claire? Yes. I'm sure she did. I think we're we'll, we'll, from Claire. Maybe one of, I can't remember now. Two, two varieties of stick. Mm. I believe. <laughs> so it's 20, 1937. How many minutes should we do? Should we do seven minutes for this one? Yeah, let's do that. Do a longer one. Ooh, look at that. Bedroom floor productions used a sponge full of wood lice in the shower. Oh, that's like horror movie, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Oh, ugh, let's talk of wood lice. <laughs> <laughs> Bad wood lice from the chat. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Tanya was here, this also wouldn't be allowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna set the time out. Yes. Body marks, get set, go. I need to buy a phone clip that doesn't make horrible noises. One time, I had to, in the middle of the night, ran downstairs to get something. So it was totally dark. I had bare feet. I ran down into the sitting room, stood on something that I was pretty certain felt like a roll, like a ball of um, tin foil. Ooh. Like, if you imagine standing on tin foil, imagine how that would feel. So I was pretty certain... I didn't know why there was a roll of tin foil on the floor, but I'm pretty sure I'd stood on a ball of tin foil. <laughs> anyway, the next morning when I went downstairs, there was the most, there was the biggest spider you have ever seen crushed completely flat on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it might feel like tin foil if you crunched it. It, with... it was so big that it crunched under my feet and felt like oh. tin foil. Yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> Do you think spiders tell each other horror stories like, oh, I was just walking along and then I heard <laughs> and there was this disgusting, massive human just <laughs> there, nearly stood on me. Probably. I oh, definitely think so. <laughs> Oh, Auntie Emily says, how long is this one? This one was seven minutes, but there's five minutes and 12 seconds left.
I'm drawing this so far and it's so pleasing. You always do lovely drawings when you draw your sofa. <laughs> My happy place. <laughs> I'm allowed to sleep there and read books and watch them. <laughs> I don't have to do anything important when I'm on the sofa. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. Communicating on top of the sofa. It's always a good collage subject. I think that's what I'm thinking of. You've done some really good collages of the sofa. Yeah, some of my favourites. <clears throat> Good pieces. Yeah, it's a good stick. This one makes good noises. So is Cameron making you some food while we draw? He's not, unfortunately. He's up. I don't know what oh. he's doing. It's possibly more important than making my dinner, but he's upstairs. He's probably watching Art Club. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Cameron, go and make some dinner. <laughs> yeah, put the, put the tea on, go on. <laughs> We're having chilli, but Katie from the past made it and put it in the freezer. Oh, so quite an easy oh tea that's on. good. Yeah. I love that. When you're like... Oh, the one. Yeah. Have you had your... Yes, I've already had mine. I can never ask that without thinking of the royal family. <laughs> yeah. Have you had your tea? What job? <laughs> roast chicken. Chris. <laughs> they never have anything as good as roast chicken. No, as a plate of crisp. <laughs> oh yeah, crisp, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 uh, or a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Well, this the stick has got lumpy bits on the end, so you can't really tell it what to do. Is but, that good or bad? Yeah, I quite like it. I think. And just blame the stick if anything goes wrong. <laughs> Is next week, is it, oh it's 10 seconds left, is next week at the same time? I can't remember what we were saying. Uh, yeah, so next week is 7 o'clock. Re I'm reading it from my um, scribblings on the wall. So we're going to do uh, 7 o'clock next week and the week after that we're going to take a break. And then for the whole of July we're going to do lunchtime ones at 1 o'clock. I'm excited for that. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, I think I'll get out in the garden then if the weather's nice. Oh yeah, because it'll be lunchtime. Yeah. Be so exciting. The time I went off. Beep, 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 oh, it's gone off. What? No. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on, timer. I think the timer was faulty, actually, Katie. Oh, oh I have to. Yeah. The, you've got one of those dodgy timers. Hang on a sec. I'll tell you when it's finished. Okay. Well, you're, you're, <laughs> you definitely would know better what time the timer goes Yeah, off. You've, you've got one of those, you know, the dodgy kind. The ones yeah. that get the time all wrong. Yeah. That's Did what you that is. To make it accurate. <laughs> I finished. I think that's it. The timer would have gone off now. It was a good one. <laughs> the real time now. Not... <laughs> yes, said... Sarah, it will still be a Friday. It'll still be Friday, but it'll be lunchtime, one o'clock. 
Yeah. Because we have people from all over the world take part. We're constantly getting messages from people saying, oh, that time's no good for me. So we're going to just mix it up a bit over the summer. Yeah. And don't worry if that time's even worse for you or still not good because you can watch the replay because we're putting it up straight after. Yeah. So and it won't be forever either. It's just a month. We're just going to try it for a month, see how nice that is. So it's going to feel we'll straight. Again. Even in it will. It's done. Yeah. We'll just go up now. Yeah. <laughs> How was the drawing? Well, did a bit of sofa action. Ah, oh, see? Lovely. Yeah. That's my nest. Yes. <laughs> Let's see yours. This is my big. Oh, that's cute. Those feathers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those chunky lines. It's that stick. It's so amazing because it's got a flat end. You can get a really big thick line, but if you just twist it round and use a corner of it, you can get a thin line. It's the world's best stick. Better than everybody else's sticks. The world's it's the best, best stick. stick. Yes. That's quite claim. <laughs> <laughs> Claire says that will be seven AM here. Brilliant. Perfect time to do some drawing. Seven AM. Perfect. You can have breakfast with us. <laughs> we can find out doing a breakfast art club one day. <laughs> yeah. We're both up quite early. The only thing yeah, is, I've pajamas and maybe not awake. I'm often up at half five. Do you fancy that? <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> you are club from bed. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. That'd be brilliant. I'd feel like, was it Louise Bourgeois who had the big boards made to fit her bed so that she oh, could? Yeah. Or Matisse <laughs> yeah. in bed, drawn with a big stick on the wall. And Frida Kahlo had a mirror above her bed so that she could see herself to draw herself. Yeah. All the greats have drawn from bed. It's mm. up. Up. <laughs> Betty amazing. Hey. Perfect. Tracy Stone Designs is using a stick for the coursework. Brilliant. That's for a good a idea. Book. Yay, brilliant. <laughs> We've got time for another. What time is it? Oh, we've only got 10 minutes left. We could do a quick one before um, 10 second animal. Yeah. Good plan. Is this dry? I've got to scratch the paper up. <laughs> <laughs> Which crack? <craft? laughs> He's asked, Uncle, I've got a mirror above the bed. Oh my God. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> Lovely. Oh, do people really do that? Quite awkward That's to cool. find out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've gone red. You've made me blush. How <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> embarrassing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Oh, uh, funny. How long should we be for this drawing? <laughs> <laughs> um, shall we do six minutes, and then it leaves us just a little bit of time for our ten-second animal? <laughs> yeah, six minutes sounds good. I've got the giggles now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. six minutes, only marks, <laughs> get set, go! <laughs> oh, I feel like changing the subject. I've got two, I've been drawing the same thing too much. I'm going to get my um, Playmobil man. Oh, yeah. I'm going to draw the Playmobil man. I've changed stick. I'm going to draw a stick with a stick. I'm not going to change sticks because I've got the world's best stick. <laughs> you should have it framed. I'm going to make it a little gold crown or something. Oh, cool. Put it in a glass case. Oh no, this drawing's no good though. Oh why? Did you see I was showing off about the stick so much it's now it's now refusing to work. Oh. It's gone wrong, I've jinxed it. Karma. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not karma. What's the other one? I don't know what you mean. Drawing a stick's a little bit boring, I've decided. Drawing a stick is boring? 
Yeah, because it's very fast. <laughs> Unless I draw all my sticks, and that'll give me more things to draw. Draw this one next. I'm drawing Playmobil Man chatting with you. Chatting with the doll that looks just like you. <laughs> we got on really well, Playmobil Man and I. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good friend to me. <laughs> nice lumpy stick. <clears throat> I've ordered a new doll to draw at Art Club and it's mm. an absolute corker. Is it from either? Yeah, it's it's um it's wearing Scottish national dress. Oh my god. And yes. it's, it's, it's 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 I never know how you say it, just say bisque or bisque. I think it's bisque. Oh. It's made of bisque, I think. I know it. Yeah. Yeah. And um her mouth is slightly open and you can see all the detail of her teeth. Well, it gave, just gave me the giggles so much before I even attempt to draw it. I know that that is going to cause the most hilarious drawings. <laughs> trying to draw all the teeth in that little tiny mouth. <laughs> I bought it for that. It was just the teeth. They're just so amazing. They're going to make crazy, terrible drawings. Uh, my favourite drawings are when people try and put loads of teeth in people's mouths. <laughs> me too. I love that. So love good. It. Yeah. <laughs> People I'm hoping look... I can get that effect yeah. with this doll. Oh, when does she arrive? Will she be here I don't know. I just, I just won her today, so maybe next week. I don't know. Yeah, she, probably next week because I got a message to say they're going to post her tomorrow. Yes. She's in um, full Scottish regalia. She's and her legs, they're so podgy. They're white and podgy and just lovely. Tiny little feet on the end. Yeah, she's, she's a good one. I'm worried that other dolls might get jealous though. It is a possibility. I'll keep her in a separate box so that it doesn't cause too much trouble. Yeah. When they see how she's got teeth, I don't think any other dolls. <laughs> she might be vicious as well. I guess she could chomp them all. <laughs> The thing is, every doll I buy, no matter how different I think they are to the last one, when I have a good look at them, they all just look like you, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it's definitely Somebody messaged me the other day and said, can you send me a photo of that doll that looks like Katie? Because I think my mum had one as a child and I just had to send a photo of all of them. Because <laughs> I didn't know which one. <laughs> Pick your pick. They all look the <laughs> Do the dolls. Sorry, it is a compliment, Katie. It's not supposed oh. to, I'm not being rude to you. It is a compliment. I really love my dolls. <laughs> That's all she loves for is my doll face. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely worse things to look like than a, a scary doll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel bad now. It's really <laughs> supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. <laughs> Somebody once told me I look Victorian. I thought that was a good compliment. <laughs> oh, that is, that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably a similar sort of vibe, isn't it? Like Victorian. <laughs> oh, it's like Mabel Lucy Atwell. They all look like I imagine you cause, because I've met your lovely niece. Oh yeah, she looks like got the cutest little round, gorgeous face. And I've seen <laughs> photos of you when I was, I was when you were little. It's not yeah. really you now that they remind me of. It's the photos <laughs> of you when you were little. <laughs> I think Mum named me after Mabel Lucy Atwell because my name is Katie Lucy Chapel, which sounds the well, same. Well, there you go. There you go. Beep, 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 beep. That's the timer again, Katie. It's not quite right. Is it not? Oh, sorry. No, no, it's not quite oh, right. I'll just carry on until the right, until the time's up. That's all good. <laughs> You've got one of those funny American timers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a metric timer and we're on Imperial or something. <laughs> yeah. 
บายเลี้ยว Right, I've just got to do a quick. I've got to get the gist of the of the right hand side here. Everybody, just wait for me. I won't be long. You <laughs> don't. <laughs> Whatever you're ready, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> no rush. Okay. Okay. I finished. I finished. I finished. It's, it's quite relaxing. Just watch. I can see why people just join art club and watch and don't draw. It's quite relaxing. Is it? Yeah, I enjoyed that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. There's Playmobil uh, man chatting with little Katie. <laughs> <laughs> that os- is it a peacock or ostrich feather that's like framing it nicely? Yeah, a peacock. Very nice. Would you, would you like to see my stick gallery? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's great. They're brilliant. I like the. And next time I'm going to do that. I'm going to mix some black with water. So you get different shades of it. That's nice. That it's very pleasing. <laughs> uh oh, Claire can hear the art police. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh no. Well, I think if time. But I just think you've all got dodgy timers. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling Tanya about this as soon as we finish. Our- <laughs> get along. What's that? I'm telling her about. Where were you? <laughs> Tanya, chaos. <laughs> Oh, wow, I've got so many drawings on the floor. We've done loads this week. Wow. I've only got... Mm. Oh, I've been using a sketchbook, that's why. <laughs> I can only see one. <laughs> is it 10 second animal time? It is, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it is. Hang on, I'm going to get another bit of paper. If you start shouting out animals, we will... Pluck one at random for a rest all draw. So you get 10 seconds to draw this animal. You're not allowed to research it or anything. No Googling. No Googling. Oh, you've got, you're in control of the timer as well, Katie. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's make sure it's, ten, oh, that's ours. 10 seconds. I do 11 seconds. Oh, yeah, go for it. <gasps> for a treat, just for a yeah. treat. Yeah, I feel quite generous. Yeah. <laughs> Just this once. <laughs> Don't get used to it, because it's not every week. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Lizard. Lizard. Go on. Go. What are lizards' faces like? I have no idea. They've got very cross faces. Have they? Oh, I'm really struggling with this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, This might be a case of Jerry, my natural history illustrator partner, actually walking out tonight. Oh no. (laughs) Oh my goodness, it's the stoat all over again. (laughs) But it's got lovely crocodile, friendly crocodile eyes, which I enjoy. I can't remember what Newt's eyes are like. Lizards. Let's have a look at your drawing because yours is anatomically correct in every way. Yeah, so this is what it uh, should be, everyone. They have dots for eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. No, nope. look up what a what, uh, lizard really looks like. Lizard. Helen's is the correct way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> and the tea towel as well. He told all of all the 10 second animals. Oh, yeah, we've got to do that at some point. We've got to get all our 10 second animals together and make them into something. Yeah, I would wear it. <laughs> well, well, thank you all for coming. That's the end of Art Club. Um, so, next week we're on at the same time, 7 o'clock, then we're going to have a break and then lunchtime sessions. But if uh, make sure you're on the Good Ship Illustration email because even when we play around with times we'll tell everybody in the email so you won't miss it that's the best way to be kept up to date with them yeah and if you might use the hashtag good ship illo and then we can see them all and appreciate your genius um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. also if you've made a mess you can um, use the hashtag art club aftermath so we can see all the stuff all over your desk and all over your floor that'd be brilliant yeah. amazing Oh, there's Johnny Hannah. Great punches. Hey, Johnny. Oh, I'm looking out for your drawings now, Johnny. Yeah. Or else. <laughs> <laughs>
So we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.